Hey all, welcome back. And last time we started list comprehensions in Python and I wanted to um, show you an application of list comprehensions. For example, I'm on a website right now called Project Euler, which is a website with mathematical challenges for uh, computer scientists. It's, it's a cool, it's a really cool website, you should check it out. Uh, and here's the first problem from P Project Euler, and I, I'll just give you a hint on how to solve it I in Python, specifically with list comprehension. So the problem says, if we list all the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 or 5, we get 3, 5, 6, and 9. The sum of these multiples is 23. Find the sum of all the multiples of 3 and 5 below 1,000. And let's uh, take this problem, so 3, 5, uh, 3, 5, 6, 9, etc., 12, 15, and uh, t 10, 12, 15, and so on. Uh, so let's take this problem and let's. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a smaller version of it, and then you can extend it to um, suit uh, to solve it for a thousand. So I'm going to say uh, a is range of zero to fifty. I'm going to use fifty as my uh, cutoff, and I'm going to say multiples of three. So a is all the multiples of three from zero to fifty. Zero, three, six, nine, etc. So b is going to be the same range, uh, zero to fifty, but multiples of five. So here's B, right? So now I want to find uh, A union B. I find want to find all the elements that are both in A. Uh, no, I want to find elements of A combined with the unique elements of B, right? So then I can take their sum and then I can get my answer, right? The sum of all the numbers divisible by both uh, by three or by five. Uh, so how do I do that? First, I need to find the intersection. In fact, th those are the non-unique ones. So let's call n the intersection. And we're going to say x for x in uh, array A, uh, if x not in B. So all the elements in A, sorry, that are in B. We want to find uh, all the elements that are both in A and in B. Uh, and n, so the intersection is 0, 15, 30, and 45. So now that we know the intersection, we want to find the union, which is all the elements in A or in B. So we say, um, how do we find the intersection, or I mean the union? Uh, the, to find the union, we add the intersection, right, the common elements, plus the elements that are in A, x for x in A, that are not uh, if x not in B. So th these are the elements that are unique to uh, list A. And x for x in uh, B, if x not in A, right? So now when I print out the union, well actually it's easier to see it if I hit sort. So if I print out the union, I get uh, all the elements uh, from 0 to 50 that are divisible by either 3 or 5. So now I say uh, sum of u, and now it gives me the sum of all of these. This is how, how Python is so powerful and why it's so really cool to program on it. Thank you very much and have a good day.